we don't quite know why she has this incredibly special um, affinity with Omega. We don't, I mean, there are many layers towards that. Hi, Gwendolyn, how are you? Hi, Lupe, I'm excellent, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Congratulations on your latest role in The Bad Batch. Oh, thank you. So how do you voice, your, your voice mimics the movements. I know, I love that you asked that question when um, me and Dave were sort of creating this character. Um, you know, I knew she would have like a, a straight spine, you know, a very erect and a stoicism about her. And um, her lips were so small and I just wanted to figure out what, what after all of that stoicism, what would come out of her mouth. Um, and I think it was a very like sort of controlled, sort of even way about her but and then I don't know as we, as we were playing that there was just something I just started moving my, my hand and it just sort of became this sort of listen there was this sort of um sort of connected sort of musical piece without much sort of um without much breath to it that it was just a connected um phrase of how she spoke so I think finding her was was really really exciting um, and then I think leaping into the Bad Batch where, you know, she's more vulnerable, more maternal, um, still having that, but literally adjusting, you know, one degree left or right um, was actually quite stressful because I, you know, it, it makes such a huge difference because you're still trying to commit to the Kaminoan universe. So, you know, it, it was sort of had to sort of have you know, uh, Brad Rao and Jennifer, Jennifer Corbett and Dave Filoni, so it'd be my buoys, as it were, to, to find mm -hmm. her correctly. Mm -hmm. And of course, the graphic team, et cetera, and sort of expressions and things like that. But, but it, it was a real awesome challenge. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, I, it seem, seems to have come across well. Yeah, so elegant. It's like, you know, the artist, usually you do the, the voiceover first and then the artist narrate around your voice, right? So you can tell like they flowed with your voice almost. It's kind yeah, of beautiful. It's true. Yeah, it was completely collaborative. <laughs> and um, yeah, you're the first person to really sort of observe that. But yeah, I, I think um it, yeah, I think it was it was it was very it was extremely collaborative, which which I think um, you know, I really give kudos to 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 George Lucas and, and the whole Star Wars franchise is that they're so meticulous. And even, you know, even when she was just in drawing form, um that that we were discussing things and, and Dave and I were like talking about how small her lips are and we couldn't see and we're like maybe well, her lips should be slightly bigger so that we can see what she's saying and you know and I'm like she's so tall like should she project more like I mean literally every no box went unchecked and that to me is is a uh, is a uh, pretty it's is is really a dream come true to 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 be on a project like that for someone to, for everyone in every department to be that meticulous. It's mm -hmm. just, woo, it makes my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're headed toward the finale and you know, only a few more episodes left. And we saw in episode nine, a big reveal. I mean, we kind of knew she was helping Omega. She's got a soft spot for her. Um, so what can you tease us with since we only have a few episodes left with your character yeah. and Omega? What can you say? <sighs> What I, I suppose, I mean, look, if, if, I, if I really tell you what happened, someone's gonna show up my, my, my door with a Jedi sword. But <laughs> what I will say um, is, yeah, the, the, these reveals are already, you know, pretty large. Um, we don't quite know why she has this incredibly special um, affinity with Omega. We don't, I mean, there are many layers towards that. We'll just, you know, that's up to the team um, to see where the story takes us. Um, but we'll just, we'll just have to see. Well, we really just have to see. But what I would say is I wouldn't be too quick to cast or label Nala Say or any of the characters as one way or the other or good or bad. Mm. I, think, I, think, I think that's what I, um, I think, uh, you know, with Nala Say, she's a scientist and she's trying to do right by her species right by her job and and but also finally sort of standing up for what she's be, being protective of um which is which is humanity so um that's what i would ask people i hope that the fans take away um that for most of the character every, every, any character in, in the lucas world that um that we're not all just one 
thing. All right, well, congratulations and fingers crossed we get a season two. Thanks, Lupe.